Hi everyone, I'm Dave from Steve Weiss Music. Today I'm here to take you through the assembly process of the Adam Soloist and Concert 4.3 Octave Marimba. Please keep in mind that this tutorial is designed for instruments featuring the Adams Voyager frame and not the Endurance Field frame. For more information on assembling field frame instruments, please consult your owner's manual as well as the included assembly guide. Before we begin, I highly recommend that you unpack the two master cartons to ensure that you have all of the necessary components to assemble your marimba. To help with this, we have compiled a list which you can access using the link in the corner of your screen, which we will review briefly right now. We'll begin by connecting the legs to the height adjustment mechanism. Insert the bracket into the height adjustment mechanism. Then insert the leg. Be sure to note the orientation of the right and left legs. R or L is marked on each leg. Finally, secure in place with wing screws. Repeat this process for all four legs. Next, install the height adjustment bracket. Be sure that the numerical marks are facing the Adams logo. Once inserted, secure in place with thumb screw. Insert the bracket into the larger half of the connection rod. Connect the two pieces and secure with wing screw. Insert a bracket into the height adjustment mechanism, then insert the connection rod. Once inserted, tighten with a wing screw. Repeat this process for both sides of the instrument. Now, attach the angle braces to the legs and tighten all four wing screws on each side of the instrument. Install the large and small end pieces. Secure the pieces using the thumb screw located on the bottom. Make sure the smooth side of each piece is facing out. Install rails two and three.
The second rail should be closer to you if the small end piece is to your right. Next, unfold the resonators. Make sure that you secure them in the center using the central hinges. Now insert the resonators into the frame. Be sure that the shorter end coincides with the smaller end piece and that the accidentals or the set with gaps is slightly elevated compared to the naturals. Finally, install rails one and four. Rail number one should be closer to you if the small end piece is to your right. Secure the rails in place by fastening all three of the stabilizing brackets. Install the natural bars starting at the smaller end and spacing the bars evenly so that the bar cord is seated securely between the posts. Repeat this process to install the accidental bars. Once again, start at the smaller end of the instrument, this time creating a group of three, then leaving a gap before creating a group of two and leaving another gap. Repeat this process, making sure that the bars correspond with the resonator tubes underneath. Once the bar cord is seated securely within the posts, apply tension by connecting the two springs at the larger end of the instrument. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful. For more great content, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, and visit us on the web at steveweissmusic.com.